all right hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll talk about sharing rules right we covered sharing sets recently in this video we'll talk about how can we open up access for internal users to specific records using sharing rules right let's quickly jump into the keynote so first level of sharing is basically owd we all know that right it is org wide defaults then it's followed by role hierarchy you can grant your managers access to your records or your subordinates records if you have role hierarchy enabled and configured properly right so if those two things are done next if you want to open up access based on roles and profiles you can use sharing rules so what sharing rules give you uh, how do you uh, use sharing rules you can either use it to you know share records based on whoever is the owner of the record or you can pick up a criteria and define how how do you want to share it based on what criteria right sharing rules extend access to users by automatically sharing the records based on the written rule per object right so sharing rules are written per object we'll take a look at it in in a in a quick while and then you can consider this as a top up on your owd so owd is basically private public read only and public read write right public read write right so uh, on top of that if you want to let's say you have private uh, as your account uh, owd and you want to open up access and you may want to make some records read only if the annual revenue is more than 50000 you want to do that for a specific set of users how do you do that you use sharing rules right so it's kind of a top up and there are two ways to share records using sharing rules one of them is ownership like i said and the other one is criteria let's understand three key aspects that there are in sharing so it is which with what right which record you want to share with whom do you want to share and what kind of access do you want them to have let's try to see with an example how does this work right and using these rules you can only you can only open up the access you cannot limit the access so always remember whatever you have on the owd plus whatever you have on the role hierarchy and then you add sharing rules on top of it that will only open up access it will not restrict the access so sharing rules open up access they don't limit the access cool let's take an example so how do i configure sharing rules i have to go to sharing settings so i'll go to the quick find sh say sharing settings and here we see the owd right we have owd here for internal and external users and then we also have the role hierarchy based grant access using hierarchy's checkbox right so these are the two things that are available what we can additionally do is down below we can create sharing rules this section right here so this can be done for every object that you have right you have lead sharing rule account sharing rule opportunity sharing rule blah 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 all the sharing rules for every object cool let's take an example of account if you see the default internal access for account is private right which means only record owners will be able to access their account records but what if i wanted to grant access to a specific profile if a particular criteria is met right let's try to look at that example what i'll do is i'll say i want to write a sharing rule for account or rather i want to take a look at how account is configured so i see okay account and contract it is private and it is private as external also and it is grant access using hierarchies default for standard objects down below i don't see any sharing rules created i'll go ahead and say new so i'm creating my first sharing rule so i'll say account sharing rule and i'll just add the description if annual revenue is more than 50k share this with some folks from logistics whatever uh, deems correct so if you see we have three options under the rule type whether you want to share your record based on who the record owner is whether you want to share it based on some criteria or whether you want to define some guest user access right guest user access is for your external users who do not have a username and password to log into communities they kind of access the portal as an open user right so these are the two things we need to focus on because we are wanting to share the records to internal users right so based on record owner gives you some set of options and based on criteria is pretty straight forward you have to just insert the criteria cool so in our case uh, we have a criteria right annual revenue is more than 50k so what would i i do i would say that the rule type should be based on criteria and the criteria field should be let's see is there a revenue field or i'm not sure let's see i don't see a revenue field so for example let's say if the rating is hot let's say that is our uh, um, criteria so if the rating equals hot in that case share the records cool so i'll just say insert selected and then down below i'll share it with what kind of users is the option so who do i get to share it with i can share it with portal rules that are the community rules i can share it with a public group that i have i can share it with 
roles that I have configured and I can share with roles and their subordinates or roles internal and portal subordinates right based on the hierarchy so these are all the options I have do I get to share it to a specific user no I get to share to a role which means it could be multiple users and I get to share it with groups which again could be one or multiple users right and then down below once you're done which who you want to share it with what kind of access do you want you want to give read access read access to the account you want to give read access on the opportunity and read access on the case access case object right and you can configure it based on whatever is your requirement cool so that's your first set of uh, uh, rule type again let's take a look at based on record owner so what happens when you choose record owner it says select which records to be shared so here it will ask you if the account is owned by a specific role public group or a portal role in that case share it with some other role so for example let's say if the role of the account owner is COO or rather channel sales team then share this particular a record with a public group that's called all internal users right which means basically all users so whatever records are owned by channel sales team will be visible to everyone in the system that's the sharing rule i've written right what if i wanted to make it a bit more um, uh, bit more restrictive let's say i would want let's say roles and i want let's say um, uh, records cre owned by the marketing team guys i want to share it with a specific role and i only want to share it with people who are the svp customer service and support and what kind of access do i want them to have i want them to be able to view all the accounts but i want them to be able to edit all the opportunities right so that kind of sharing i can set it up make sense cool so that was about sharing in salesforce always remember we have these three key aspects which with and what which records do you want to share with whom do you want to share and what kind of access do you want to have want them to have on the object level all right and again you cannot limit the access but you actually open up the access now quick quick question if the owd is set to public read write for an object do you even have to write any sharing rules the answer is no because you have already given the maximum level of access that a record can have so you don't have to explicitly write anything any other rule to open up access because what what access will open up after uh, public read write right so uh, if you have a situation wherein your object uh, setting is private or public read only, you can move to public read only and public read write respectively based on sharing rules. That you can do. Alright, so that was sharing and that was all from this video. I'll see you in the next lecture. Till then, bye.